Next on Fox tonight, a grand jury has indicted an alleged drug dealer for negligent homicide. This after a 25-year-old man died from a fentanyl overdose. Well, in total, Hugo Gomez Soto faces 10 charges, including four counts of delivering a controlled substance within 1,000 feet of a school. Fox Falls Chandler Watkins joins us live from Southwest Portland tonight after speaking with people who live in that area. Chandler. Yeah, court documents say that the drugs were given to the victim just 700 feet from the high school. Community members we spoke to were shocked that it happened so close to them, telling us this is a quiet neighborhood. I would say this neighborhood is just really nice. It's a pretty clean neighborhood. There's not that much, like, bad action. and It's just a very nice place in general. Yeah, it's and super safe that you can walk to and from school, ride your bike. Across the street from Ida B. Wells High School, we spoke to residents about the Hillsdale area. I say it's a pretty friendly, very, very quiet neighborhood. That's why many were shocked when they heard a fentanyl drug deal had happened near the school in December. According to court documents, a 25-year-old male was found unconscious by a family member. He was given multiple doses doses of Narcan and taken to OHSU, but was pronounced dead at the hospital. Court documents go on to say fentanyl was found in his system and police found, quote, very obvious drug text messages from less than 24 hours before in his phone. In text messages, the victim allegedly purchased fentanyl pills similar to these and powder from an alleged dealer police identified as Hugo Gomez Soto. According to court documents, using the victim's phone and posing as him, Portland police arranged to meet with Gomez Soto in the same area the victim had met him before, less than 700 feet from the high school. Gomez Soto was arrested, with the Multnomah County District Attorney's Office announcing on Friday he was indicted on several counts, including criminally negligent homicide. At a hearing on Thursday, a judge found in favor of the state and ordered Gomez Soto to be preventatively detained. Court documents go on to say that Gomez, Gomez Soto has an extensive criminal record related to drug dealing spanning several states. Reporting in Southwest Portland, Chandler Watkins, Fox 12 World.